So, how about that night at American Idol, huh? Woo! Needed a towel for that one. Even Ryan Seacrest at the end went, yeah! He, like, did one of those pumped-up things. Welcome into the Parker and the Man page at yournews.com. Everybody, Mark Wilson with your webcam this uh, Thursday, uh, April 8th, 2010. And you know what that means? Idol stuff is coming up after that incredible week of Lennon-McCartney uh, songbook stuff and uh, the amazing results tonight in which their yes was a major surprise. I'm pointing because it was such a big deal. Uh, but that's coming up in a sec. First of all, the piece is all about Tiger Woods. A figure, look, we'll write about Tiger. First day of the Masters that he's back. Masters begins today at Augusta National. You all know about the stuff, but I wrote all about it, kind of brought it back, to, dredged it all up again, and you know, because uh, really this is about his image now. Uh, he's back playing. He's a golfer. That's what he does. He's going to work. That's what people do when they work, and that's what they do for a living. And Tiger is fortunate enough that. Um, what happened about four months ago on Thanksgiving with all that stuff, um, you know, even Jack Nicholas maybe said it best. He goes, I just, what Tiger Woods does in his private life is none of my business. And Jack will be out there hitting the first drive, the ceremonial first drive at the age of 70. He said he'd never do it, but he's going to do it anyhow. <laughs> he and Arnold Palmer, you know, getting together again. Jack would like to play, by the way. There's something on that as well in the piece. But Tiger Woods and... Uh, there's a lot of little stuff that goes along with Tiger uh, coming back and playing, reporting for duty, if you will, uh, at his job uh, and playing golf. And um, so read about that. I mean, I could I could go on and on and on, but you all know the deal. You know, you know the deal with the chicks and the women and the sex rehab and whatnot. And now he tries to get past it today. Tries to win back his people that he's done the last three days since he's been, you know, uh, golfing out there at Augusta in practice rounds and on the practice greens and you know, at the driving range and whatnot. So what's been out of focus will now become in focus for Tiger Woods, for Eldrick Woods. And speaking of that, the new Tiger Spot um, for Nike television commercial, I've got something on that as well, from a uh, ad agency in Portland, Oregon, who is kind of known for their kind of zaniness, craziness, kind of haunting pieces. If you haven't seen it yet, it's all done in black and white, and Tiger just standing there. If I could, maybe I'll, I can re reprise the role. He's just standing, very pensive, very solemn. And his father, uh, the voice of his late father, who died in 2006, is all you hear. I, I, it's it's kind of creepy, uh, certainly poignant, and very powerful. And if you haven't seen it, uh, you can check it on YouTube. I'm sure it's somewhere. Um, I just saw it for the first time yesterday. Is that what it was? Uh, so that's all in there as well. Tigers had their own drama last night in Kansas City. Uh, what a game it was. Uh, both pitchers, both starters. Max Scherzer in his first Tiger effort ever since the trade, of course. Uh, and uh, Luke Hochaver for uh, Kansas City. Uh, we're almost perfect last night, uh, Thursday, uh, Wednesday night. And then the bullpens took over again. And this time, Tigers closer, Jose Valverde, just couldn't lock the door. Uh, Miggy Cabrera did a homer to tie the game. The Tigers took the lead. Uh, the 11th inning of that one, and then uh, Kansas City pushed across two, one on a homer, and then uh, it was Rick Ann Keel who got the job done. He, of course, new to Kansas City after leaving the St. Louis Cardinals as a free agent, uh, and the Royals uh, even up the series at one apiece. In a game, the Tigers, you know, with the lead 2-1 to one in the 11th, probably should have won with the closeout of Valverde, but it didn't happen. Uh, Jim Leland won't be happy, but it's only game two of the season, so he won't make a big deal about it. Afternoon game today to finish the work in Kansas City for the first series. And that's Dontrell Willis getting his first Tiger start of the year against uh, Brian Bannister, who is 17 and 8 in afternoon games in his uh, major league career. And then they come home for the home opener against the Indians on Friday. Rick Porcello on the mound for the Tigers as the Tigers open up. And of course, what will be the coldest day of the week? We've had only 70 degree days and 60s, and it'll be cold tomorrow. Always cold at opening day. Couldn't avoid it. <laughs> Had that be that way. We'll have a piece, something special tomorrow for you on the uh, yournews.com Parker and a Man page right there. All right. So, uh, and then, the, so now on to the other stuff. Uh, one other item to mention before the idle stuff uh, the Pistons win two in a row. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> uh, they've won three in a row since January. <laughs> Uh, but they did beat the Atlanta Hawks. And two other big news items in the NBA. Rick Edelman got to his 900th career win as a coach. And Don Nelson set the record last night, uh, beating Lenny Wilkins' mark, uh, his 1,333rd victory. The guy's coached 31 years. He averages 43 wins a season and has never been to the finals as a coach. Nelly played five times with the Celtics as a player in the finals, never as a coach, 31 years. You know what the most amazing thing is? He and Jerry Sloan have now coached together. They're still coaching. Sloan with the J Utah Jazz and Nelson with the Warriors. Total of 56 years combined. 
They have 2,500 wins between them, <laughs> and neither has won a championship. <laughs> boy, oh boy. And you wonder if we should keep John Houston around with the Pistons. <laughs> I mean, these guys stay around, they win nothing. Now, at least Sloan's gone to the finals. But that was way back when, with the Utah Jazz. So, um, there it is, Don Nelson. Give it up to him. <laughs> for breaking Lenny Wilkins, an all-time NBA record for coaching victories. 1,333. That's the mark right now. And growing with that Golden State team. They may win another game before the year's out. Uh, Frozen Four begins today, too. Miami of Ohio against um, Boston College and Wisconsin and Rochester Inter Institute of Technology. RIT, R-I-T. Down at Fort Field. All starts at 5 o'clock today. American Idol. It was amazing stuff last night. Um, bottom three, they said there was a surprise. And my bottom three for this week, and it was really a great week with the Lennon-McCartney songbook. I thought everybody did a pretty good job. But I still stuck the three. The three girls were safe, uh, Katie and Crystal and Siobhan. Uh, but the three dudes that I thought were going to be in the bottom uh, three were going to be Andrew, Tim uh, Urban, and, um, uh, was it, uh, Andrew, Tim, and Aaron Kelly. Uh, the surprise was Michael Lynch. And I knew there was no way my Lynch was going to leave this show after, at the top nine. It was just not going to happen. So sure enough, America voted. Mike Lynch had the least amount of votes, so he was kicked off. Only a judge's save. They only get to use it once. And only up until uh, five people left, week, whatever. Uh, and they decided in unison, unanimously, to keep Mike Lynch there. It was very emotional. His wife was crying. The place went crazy when they announced that he would stay. Uh, for another week, and now they'll kick off two next week um, when Adam Lambert is there to, to tutor, and Katie Stevens was very excited about Adam Lambert. I don't know why she is, because he'll probably want to kiss Tim Urban, you know, with the way, <laughs> with the way he's going, <laughs> or Andrew, or Casey, or anybody else, or Lee, whatever, one of those guys. So there you go. Idol was pretty crazy. I thought it would be Andrew Garcia that got the boot just over Aaron Kelly, but Kelly and Garcia were safe, and as it turns out, so is Michael Lynch, who got the least votes in America after the voting. And, of course, Idol is way down in the ratings, so I'll probably try to pick it up next week. There you go. It's all on the Parker and the Man page, yournews.com. Check it all out. Tiger Woods gets it going today when Jack Nicholas gets it started with the first drive at the Masters at Augusta National.